Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going to Q4 of the weekly contest 291, Total Appeal of a String. Uh, let, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about my appeal of a string. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the two observations you have to make for this problem, I think. Um, the first one is something that comes up actually very common, so or commonly, so definitely... Um, you know, play around with that idea. Uh, maybe people you know, come to my Discord, or maybe people in the comments can leave some uh, some problems that are similar to the idea. But the idea is this idea of individual contribution. Um, and what I mean from that is that if you're getting the total appeal of all the substrings uh, and the part on all substrings, then instead of kind of, and they try to you know use the examples to to kind of push you toward like, okay, like if you were to brute force, this is what you would do, da 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 right? Um, and that's a thing, obviously. But what I mean by uh, contribution is that for each character, what is its contribution to the end, to the end result, right? And that's basically uh, the, the key, one key point. And that's something that c comes up kind of commonly uh, for these type of problems. So it's something that I knew immediately. Um, the second part, and why I was a little bit slower than I probably could have been for this problem, to be honest, is that I was trying to do a lot of proofs to make sure that uh, um, this is correct, because, um, I don't know, it's just easier to mess up. Uh, but the idea here is just that, okay, oops. The idea about this, now that we have this contribution, we have to figure out, well, what is the contribution, right? And that's basically what I spent the bulk of my time on, um, because the coding, as you will see, is actually quite short, and you can even uh, make it shorter, but, but I did it. But the idea here is that, okay, um, for, for substrings that, uh, so there are two things that you can think about for a given character, right? Um, so here, A... We know that it's, and, and as long as you're consistent, it's fine. But the way that I did it, and there's some symmetry, so you have something similar. But the way that I did it is that, okay, let's take this A. What is this contribution to the end result? Well, in this A, we, we can, its contribution is A by itself, of course. A, B, so that's, you know, uh, A has a plus one here. A, B, B, A, B, B, C, A or A, B, B, C, and then A, B, B, C, A, right? So that means that A has five contribution. Um, so then that's fine. It's not a great example because it's the first character, so let's just stick with it. Um, and in this case, know that there are duplicates, like there's another B, which we'll ignore because it doesn't affect this A. And even this A doesn't technically affect this A because we, we're just going to count it here. Um, we'll, and that's what I mean by self-consistent, is that if you're consistent about it, when we get to this A, we won't count this A, if it overlaps with this A. We'll get to that in a sec. Um, but that's basically the idea. So the first A has a contribution of 5. Right? And then I'm going to erase this real quickly just for screen real estate. But then same thing for B, right? So now you have B. Uh, what is the contribution, right? Well, um, so now this gets a little bit harder to visualize, but you can imagine the same thing where you, you have a a left B and then right, right? And what I mean by that is that uh, if B has to be um, a character in this substring or subarray, then that means that there's left times right number of arrays, meaning that that's the number of uh, things that we can go, right? And what I mean by that is that, for example, left can be, uh, left can contain nothing or it could contain A, right? So this is left. For the right, right can contain nothing, uh, the second B, BC, BCA, right? So then now, of course, you, you do a cross product uh, or Cartesian product between these to get, um, so there's two possibilities times four possibilities. So this second uh, contribution would be eight, right? And again, in this case, um, we're going to say that for this B, uh, yeah, and you can kind of list it out if you like, but the way that I think about it is that the second B, well, w our logic to be consistent is that, okay, when we get to that second B, we just won't count its contribution if it overlaps with the first B. Okay, so then now the second, the first B is going to be A. And then now, let's, let's look at the third B, right? 
So then the third B is a little bit tricky. We have the same thing here actually, so maybe I didn't need to delete. But then the left is now um, blank B and then AB, right? Remember that this is a prefix. So you can think about this as, you know, BB, ABB, and so forth, right? Um, yeah. And then the right is going to be blank uh, C and then CA, right? So of course, so then, but then now what do we do? Or what are we saying? Well, here we notice that this B, um, here we notice that this B means that, because it has the same as our current B, means that there's no contribution here. So this is actually cancelled out. Bam. And of course, everything left of that is also cancelled out by the logic that, well, B has, you know, uh, uh, um, like it has the same B. So that, and everything beyond that is going to be blocked off, if you will. So, okay, so then now we move that. So that means that to the left side, there's only, there's, there's no, no uh, degree of freedom. And on the right side, there's still three. Um, so that means that the second B's contribution is three. And then you do the same thing. C is just, you know, uh, three to the left, one to the right. So that's going to be four times two. So that's going to be eight. And then the last A um, is going to be, yeah. So then it's going to be the same thing, uh, which is that, and we, we're going to generalize it with this idea that we, we visualize. Um, but of course, right is you go to nothing. It doesn't even have a, it just has this, right? Because there's no freedom. Uh, but for the left, you have C, you have BC, you have BBC, you have ABBC, right? As the prefix. And of course, the you also have the empty prefix, say. Um, and of course, we fold this out because there's an A. That means that we, we when we get to here, we already counted this A because it, it, it double counts, right? For the uniqueness. So then that means that there's four times one. So this is going to be four. And then when you sum it up in this way, it's going to be, what's it? 16 plus 8 is 24, 28, and that's your answer for this one. So that's basically the idea. I do want to change this up a little bit just to be a little bit clear on the visualization. Um, is that, let's say we have a bunch of other letters here, right? Say. Um, so then here, let, let's look at the second B. Here, we're going to have the same idea. Uh, so then a B, the left, we have. MTB, we have one A, we have two A's, we have three A's, and then duh, 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 and then A B A. This, these are all the possible prefix, right? And again, the idea here is that okay, this B means that we, we're not counting anything in the left of it because that B already took care of ourselves, so then we can remove these. So then now, uh, and of course the right is the same, which is duh, 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 right? Um, Yeah, so then here you can say that this is four times three for in this case. Um, and the idea here then is that you have to find the last B that took place. And that's basically the idea. And that's basically the code that we're going to have. Is that we, we have this way of being consistent and counting the contribution of each character by itself. Um, yeah. Okay. So we, we set up the total and we're looking for code now. We set up the total, we return the total at the end, but basically we keep track of the last thing we've seen. And if you've done this from the contest, actually this idea is very similar to Q2. I'm not going to go into it, but, but basically you just, just keep track of the last, um, uh, uh, last index that this character belongs, uh, that was seen in. Um, and this is the left contribution is basically cuts off at the left, left index. Otherwise this is just, um, uh, uh, what you might call it, right? Like all the way to the left. Uh, so all the characters. Um, the right contribution is the same because it assumes that this is the the first character to the right. And if even if we have dupes, it doesn't matter because um, because in that case we assume that they will ignore us, not that we have to ignore them. Um, and then we add the numbers, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then we have to update the index. This is very short, and we can even tighten this code much smaller if you, if you must, because um, I think you could use like a default dictionary, and then maybe get rid of like one of these, uh, or the if statements, this, and even maybe combine these into one line if you like. So you could definitely get this into like five lines of code if you like. 
but uh, but I wanted to be sure. Um, and I did spend some time like getting it on pencil and paper to proof. Um, but that's basically the idea. And as you can see, this is going to be linear because this is just a for loop. Uh, everything is all of one lookup and so forth. Um, yeah, don't know if I have anything more to say about this one, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you think about this one. Let me know if you found this one to be okay. Because it seems like a lot of people saw this one. Uh, I, I took about seven minutes, which is actually uh, which is actually shorter than when I did Q3. I need to have a library for Q3 or something. But uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and you could watch me self a live in a contest now. Honest? Okay, cool. People already finished. Wow. So I am really behind then. 16 people finished and I'm just starting. Total appeal of all its substrings. Assume this is big, okay. I feel like this is. Hmm. hmm. Think about this. A little bit slow right now. How much contribution there is here? Right. Let's take it on the counter and remove that. This one, what does it mean? can do a prefix thing, but that's fine. Is that true? Actually, I don't know if that's true. I think this is a weird thing. Yeah, okay, so give me a character. What is its appeal contribution, right? Well, to the left, it stops here. Does that mean anything? To the right, so that means that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Can I figure that out? Basically, P appears eleven times. Well, this B. Is that true? We could go to the left bit. So maybe I'll, so this is just one, two, three, four. This isn't even a contribution, so that means that really it just has one, two, three. Right? So this one has contribution of three. This B would have contribution of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. This A would have <coughs> so 
So this eight is because it has two possibilities and then four. This is three and then one on the left. That's it, right? Okay, I think I get it. That's probably why everyone's got it so quickly, but that's fine. Um, hmm. Okay. If I need a mod, right? No? Hmm. Is this a long? Huh. I think, I guess not. Okay. So, talk. And then left is equal. Let's see. I minus this is the lead level of freedom. Right is equal to. I may go off by one here, to be honest. Else, left is equal to I. I'm probably off by one, so let's just. Ah, oh, it's so slow. Okay, A, this. Okay. I'm off, but that's fine. So this is definitely I plus one. Um, this I may not know though. It's one, and then there's four, so that's five. Okay. Uh, can you spin again? 28, 20, okay. Uh, am I good on this one? Maybe. Let's give us a minute. A little bit YOLO on this one, to be honest. Oh, uh, this pending is killing me. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, this is a... I guess that's why people got it so quick. It's not that bad. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest problems. We, we go over them every contest and day. Uh, yeah. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.